Hello, welcome to the weekly highlights program on Azerbaijan television with the major developments of the week. I'm your host, Ilham Ahmadov. Now first, let's take a brief look at some of the top stories of this week. President of Azerbaijan, Ilham Ali, received President of the OAC Parliamentary Assembly, Pia Kauma. On November 15th, President of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev and First Lady Mehdi Banaliva attended the opening of the Dostavi branch of the DOS Center for Inclusive Development and Creativity of the Ministry of Labor and Social Protection of Population in Ismaili. President of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev received President of the OAC Parliamentary Assembly, Pia Kauma. The sides exchange views on the situation in the South Caucasus region and the role of the OEC Parliamentary Assembly. The head of state noted that new realities have already emerged in the South Caucasus region. President Ilham Aliyev emphasized that the latest developments in the region should be considered in the context of Armenia's 30-year-long occupation and military aggression against Azerbaijan. It wouldn't be the right approach to put forward views on the future of the region without considering the consequences of this invasion and aggression. President Elham Aliyev noted that Armenia was trying to perpetuate the occupation of Azerbaijani lands. Mediation missions carried out during the occupation were completely unsuccessful and did not eliminate the consequences of occupation and aggression. The head of state stressed that Armenia did not fulfill its obligations arising from the statement of November 10, 2020, signed following the 44-day Pandemic War. Thus, Armenia not only did not withdraw its armed forces from the territory of Karabakh, but even purposefully used that territory for the transportation of military equipment, personnel of its armed forces and mines. In addition, Armenia failed to honor its obligations related to establishment of a link between the eastern Zangezur and Nakhchivan. President al Hamaliv noted that such matters had become history. The president of Azerbaijan said that there are good opportunities for the peace agenda in the region. The head of state underlined that it was Azerbaijan that came up with an initiative of a peace agreement and its underlying principles in the wake of the 40-war-day Patriotic War. President al Hamaliv pointed out that Azerbaijan advocates for lasting peace in the South Caucasus and favors regional peace agenda, normalization of relations with Armenia and signing of a peace treaty. The head of state noted that although Azerbaijan presented a clear and transparent program of coexistence and the right of return, Armenia denies the right of return for Azerbaijanis to this country and hasn't expressed any view on this matter. They noted that the OEC Parliamentary Assembly can become an effective platform for building trust between the delegations of Armenia and Azerbaijan. President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, received Minister of Investment, Industry and Trade of the Republic of Uzbekistan, Laziz Kudratov. The head of state praised the excellent organization of the 16th Summit of the Economic Cooperation Organization held in Tashkent and recalled his meeting with the president of Uzbekistan on the sidelines of this event, saying that the agenda of friendly and brotherly relations is very broad and covers various areas. President al stressed the importance of proposed joint projects in economic and industrial, including industrial cooperation, agricultural and other fields. The head of state expressed confidence that fruitful discussions on the agenda of cooperation in the coming years and achievement of the set goals would be conducted during Laziz Kudratov's visit to Azerbaijan. Laziz Kudratov extended the greetings and best wishes of the president of Uzbekistan to the head of state. President Al-Hamaliyev thanked for the greetings and asked the minister to communicate his greetings to Shafkat Mirziyoyev. Laziz Kudratov noted that friendly relations between the presidents of Azerbaijan and Uzbekistan created a solid basis for the bilateral cooperation to rise to a qualitatively new level and stress the significance of reciprocal visits and meetings of the two countries' presidents in terms of strengthening the strategic relationship. Laziz Kudratov pointed out that Uzbekistan was happy for the economic success achieved by Azerbaijan and the improvement of the population's well-being thanks to President Ilham Aliyev's wise and far-sighted policy. 
He also underlined that those big people watched with pride a military parade in the city of Hankian, marking the third anniversary of the victory in the Patriotic War, emphasizing that it was the determination, strong will and successful policy of the president of Azerbaijan that enabled the restoration of historical justice. Lezis Kudratov said that during his visits to Shusha and Fizoli, he saw the ongoing great reconstruction and restoration works there. The exchange fees on the deepening of ties and industrial cooperation as well as in the fields of economy, trade, transport and logistics. On November 15th, President of Azerbaijan Ilham Aliyev and First Lady Mehriban Aliyeva attended the opening of the Dostavi branch of the Dost Center for Inclusive Development and Creativity of the Ministry of Labor and Social Protection of Population in Ismail Lib. The main goal of the DOS Center for Inclusive Development and Creativity, which was established at the initiative of First Vice President Mehriban Aliyeva and commissioned in October of 2021, is to develop creative potential of the martyrs' family members, persons with war-related disabilities and their children, orphans and children deprived of parental care, low-income families and talented people with disabilities. Minister of Labor and Social Protection of Population Sahil Babayev informed the head of state that the commissioned Dostevi branch is made of two blocks in a single-story building. The exhibition and sales center will feature and sell handicrafts made by the beneficiaries. About 150 handicrafts made in the center in pottery, artistic carving, carpet making, stained glass and painting art are presented here. Handicraft samples made by people with disabilities and other sensitive groups living in the district and involved in the Dostevi will be displayed and sold here. The exhibition and sales center also serves to promote our national culture examples. Dost AV will feature six workshops in ten trades, namely on pottery, artistic carving, coppersmithing, jewelry, carpet weaving, artistic embroidery, weaving, tailoring, production of kelare, flower and confectionery products. In addition to playing the role of a training base for relevant vocational training courses, the center will also support the implementation of self-employment projects.
The Dost AV branch opened in its Smiley district will support the creation of new jobs in the region, including the increase of employment and income opportunities for people with disabilities and other vulnerable groups, the development and promotion of national crafts, the increase of tourism opportunities in the region, the sale of environmentally friendly products and quality of catering services. Public catering services will be organized by involving people with disabilities in the inclusive cafe area. At the same time, it is planned to select beneficiaries, trainers and other employees from persons with disabilities and other vulnerable categories. It should be noted that 470 beneficiaries of the DOS Center for Inclusive Development and Creativity have benefited from training social pedagogic and psychological services in various creative directions. Currently, the center serves 186 people. That was all for the week. Thank you for watching us and stay tuned not to miss the next edition of our program.